Today I'm heading to Chapel Hill, North Carolina, a city that's booming with eco-friendly construction. Mark Markopoulos is a contractor who specializes in green building and design. He's married and has three children, Dakota, Riley, and Lucas. Mark is passionate about conserving natural resources. He wanted to light, cool, and heat his house with minimal reliance on oil, gas, and the local electric utility. He began with a design that regulates indoor light and temperature, as well as solar panels that heat the home's water and photovoltaic panels that generate electrical power. Today we're gonna to see how one man is breaking his dependence on the utility companies for good. What's the concept of the house? Well, it's designed to be a model, energy efficient, solar house as a you know, great place for our family to live, for, as an educational tool, and as a marketing example for my business, my construction business. Mark uses the sun not only to light and warm his house, but to heat his hot water as well. On his roof, he's installed a series of solar thermal collectors. The collectors consist of pipes filled with a mixture of water and antifreeze. Antifreeze solution flows through these two panels, picks up the heat of the sun, transfers its heat to the water tank, which is in a super insulated box here. Hot water flows back down into the house. And then the antifreeze solution cools and drops back down and picks up more heat. So what do you figure you spend a year for hot water? Well, I would say that from April to October, hardly anything. We're getting enough sunlight. As the days get shorter in the wintertime, it may be uh, two to $300 over the course of a year, I'm thinking. Mark is saving even more money by generating his own electricity. But to do that, he needs a different kind of solar panel, a photovoltaic or PV panel. Rather than absorb the sun's heat, this panel converts the sun's light into an electric current, which can be used immediately or stored in a battery. If I was a solar panel, I'd be loving it right now. This you is got it. full sunshine, you got a south-facing roof, and you got a whole bunch of these things glued down to your metal roof. You're your own generating plant right now. This is the peak time of the day, too. We're, we're reaping it right now. So you're a happy guy. I can this see this little it. look this in your it. eyes like, <laughs> this is free money, baby. The utility doesn't get a penny of this. <laughs> so you can walk on these things? Oh, yeah, these are indestructible. Hailstorms, tree branches, kids chasing Frisbees. And they stick right down to the roof? Yeah, just peel and stick, basically. So you've got one bank here, and then down on the lower roof, another bank. How much total power do you think you're generating right now? Well, right now, we're probably this array up here is generating enough for the house. And right here, makes me feel so good, we're putting power in the battery bank right now. So feel this like, feeds into a battery room. So this is for, this is for later. This is for tonight. So we're, uh, we're putting it in the bank. Show me the bank. All right. This battery bank stores all the surplus power. So when the sun's not shining, the house can still run off its banked energy. This is the battery room. And this is where the power is stored. Yep, this is the heart of the power system here. Where does the power come in? Well, it comes in from the rooftop here, and it moves through here, comes over to these solar boosters, which show how much power we're getting. And when I look at these meters, I feel like a rich man. On a sunny day, <laughs> when this power is flowing in here, I feel good. It That's moves, free power. Free power. Free power from the sun. It moves down through here to these massive batteries where Whoa, the power is stored. Things. This is not what you would put in your car. How big are these things? They're about two feet tall. They're, oh, they're, they're deep cycle <laughs> How heavy are they? They are so heavy, they are hernia producing. Yeah. These are gigantic versions of those little batteries that you put in a flashlight. Yes. 24 yes. volts. Yep, 24 volts. And when we need the power in the house, it flows out of the batteries over to this inverter. Mm -hmm changes from the 24 volt direct current to the alternating current that typical appliances and, and household electrical systems use on into the house where we reap the benefits of the harvest. Let's go see it. All right. 